Greetings, Capricorn. I should say fellow Capricorn. This is your reading for November 26th to the 7th of December. I'm using Ramses Tarot. That's what it looks like there. And um, I wanted to meditate out for that. I am going to do the Crux on Sada because I feel I am going to be doing this for 11 days. So I do feel like that's a good enough space of time for everybody to get a message out of this. Okay. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, November 26th to December, uh, December 7th, 2017. Everything that you need to know, everything that you poss can possibly need to know and be aware of for this time period for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. So um, I get that somebody is moving next month. So that's good. Congratulations. If you are moving and your relationship to a Libra like energy is changing as well. Okay. So the card that you have underneath, you have the Three of Cups. Uh, you're trying to be closer to a water-like energy here. You may be trying to date one, uh, a Cancer to be specific. It could be a Pisces, but I feel like this is a Cancer. You're either trying to date one or they're in their or they are in your family. They're trying to get closer to you. Just have a Cancerian energy that's trying to get closer to you, and it could be a Scorpio. I feel like the Scorpio is farther away from you. If this is, I said Cancer, Scorpio. If it's a Pisces, they already live with you, or they're trying to you have a pisces energy that you're trying to get close to or you're getting closer to and a cancer and then for some there's a scorpio that lives very farther lives farther away from you and they could also be a distant relative for that scorpion scorpio like energy there your starting point has the three of pentacles uh, work. Literally, this feels like Monday morning. If you're dealing with Monday morning, this also looks like March to me. March may be an important month for you. Um, it could be the birthday of a family member that you are dealing with, a water sign to be specific. It could be that you are tied to a Piscean energy whose birthday is in March. And maybe you're doing business with this, uh, with a Pisces like energy here. Just keep feeling like Pisces. Cancerian energy, however, you are working with, you work with a Piscean energy in the family or in a workplace environment. And you also have a Cancerian energy that you work with and also earth sign energies that you house with and work with as well. Okay. You're getting somebody to move. Uh, it could be in the workplace environment or somebody's trying to get you to move. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing to change positions, uh, especially during this, this, this time of year, around the holidays is a good time to uh, rack it up in terms of your finances, especially if you feel like you need to get back to family and friends. Uh, I mean, at least you feel, you personally yourself, you feel like you need to buy things. You don't need to buy so much is the feeling that I get here. You may be finding out that you are getting paid less than other people in the workplace environment only because maybe you're working less hours than other people. In a, you could be working less hours than three other people in the workplace environment. It's not that bad. Um, there is negotiate. There is room for negotiation. To do not worry in terms of like your money. Okay, you, you're going to be fine in terms of your finances. You're waiting on the four of wands. I did say that you are waiting to move. You do need your finances to crack up so that you can make this move. And it could be with a Sagittarian uh, fire like energy here. I get that you're dealing with an Aries that's kind of like in the way they want to help you. That they want to do business with you with this three of Pentacles and this four of wands, but they're more of a burden to you than they actually are a help because they too are also asking you for money at the same time there they may actually live with you to be honest you may have an aries like energy that already lives with you they want to do business with you and um they're just i feel like they're just they're just needing like they're needy like you got a needy fire sign that lives with you works with you etc you may be dealing with a lazy one to be honest you may be dealing with lazy like energies around you in the home. And maybe that's why you're like my money, my money. You know what I mean? Um, <coughs> excuse me. You may be feeling like you're pulling all the weight. To be honest, three of pentacles and this four of wands is kind of like, I need help. I need help at home. You know, I can't do, if it's business, your, your business is your home, the kind of work that you do at home, but you need help, you need collaboration, um, and people are taking some time to do that with you wherever you house your money, your credit, and your time, okay? Your present has the King of Cups. 
I did say that you are dealing with a water-like energy here. Um, this person is refusing to change something about themselves. You cannot make people change something about themselves. If this is your husband. Um, this could be a boyfriend or whoever, a business partner that you're dealing with, that you're working with. You cannot change this person. They are hell bent. This water, this man right here is hell bent in what he wants and they're hell and he's hell bent in his beliefs. To be honest, very, very hell bent. Um, especially if there's somebody you're doing business with, they're they're hell bent on what they want. If there's this is somebody that's helping you like refinance a home or something, or they're trying to get you to rent something out, you know what I mean? Like they they're hell bent on the fact that they're they're going to work with you. However, it's their way or the highway if you're dealing with this a water sign male energy helping you in the home with business or helping you move or helping you in general with finances. You work with this person, you work with them, um, but they, they're they just, they're just me, me, me. The me is me or no. I said, or the highway, whatever it is. It's, it's my way or the highway with this water-like water, water -like energy. And it does not have to be for business. It could be for love. Someone may be like, stay with me for tonight. You're like, no. I need to go home. I need to take care of business at home. That's what it looks like to me. And they're trying to get you to stay. They're trying to get you to stay. You got that Aries like energy that's watching everything that you're doing, but you literally have somebody new here that's trying to get you to, you know, leave them, leave them alone. You know, leave that fire like energy alone that's in the home that's driving you crazy and come stay with me for the night. I will help you with your money. You know, like someone like you may, you may be a sexual partner or a relationship partner to somebody that you do business with and that's perfectly fine you got jealousy going on here in the home but that's cool it's cool because nobody's bothering your ass about it <laughs> you know nobody's gonna bother you about who you do business with who you sleep with whether you do business with somebody you sleep with who the fuck cares you know what i mean if you're dealing with that kind of energy at least your future has the four of swords a little bit of depression does not have to be depression. I'm going to get there. Your instincts has the eight of wands energy here. I get that you're moving away from a fire sign energy. I did say that before. You're moving away from them because they're tiring you out. Okay. I get that you were dealing with a fire like energy that has been giving you the wrong information. They've been giving you the wrong, whether they're Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I get a Leo moon. You've been dealing with a Leo moon like energy that has been giving you the wrong information. It could be a Leo as well. I get Leo moon. Leo moon and sun go hand in hand to me, to be honest. It might as well be two sun signs because if you're dealing with that kind of energy, they're giving you the wrong shit. Okay. In terms of business, you're moving away from them. Water sign is kind of like, I got a better deal for you, baby. I got a better deal for you. This is your relax. I got a way better deal than this clown over here. This, these clowns that you're dealing with in terms, you got a lot of business negotiation going on here. You're trying to kick this fire like energy to the curb. Water sign is kind of like, I, I'll take care of you. I'm gonna buy you a drink and I'm gonna buy you a plane, a plane ticket as well. I'm gonna take care of you. They want, they want to take care of you, this energy here. Whether they're a family or a romantic partner, they want to take care of you. They're more nurturing in nature. This fire sign energy is a damn headache, okay? They're not putting the, the damn wood in the fireplace. They're being more of a headache. They're not giving you warmth. They're not giving you the warmth that you need in the home, and whether that be home in the workplace or literally home at home, okay? Your accomplishments has the two of cups energy, Um Two of Cups is an accomplishment because you're deciding to be with your soulmate energy and you have people around you that do not want you to be with your soulmate. Why? I do not know. It could, like I said, and it could be because of jealousy. It could be some aspect of your relationship with this water sign. It's making you happy. Someone doesn't want to see you happy and comfortable. Maybe they feel there is an energy here as to if you do go with your soulmate with this two of cups and this king of cups, you got an Aries energy here that's going to feel like you're going to completely, uh, throw off on the business deal that you had set up for them. That is not true. You can still do business and have fun. I don't understand why this energy feels like you're just going to go off and leave them alone. Their need is because they're needy is because they want to be all up in your business, etc. with this kind of energy. You need love too. You know, you need to have your happiness with this water like energy here. I get somebody's literally asking you, can I sleep with you? If you're a dude, you're asking a water sign energy, can I sleep with you? If you're a female, you're getting asked, can I sleep with you from a water-like energy? It could be a fire-like energy too. 
It looks like you're leaving a fire-like energy for a water sign because somebody is just more sexually available. Somebody's more nurturing, more loving, more kind with this two of cups energy here. Your spiritual self has the sign of Aries again with the fool. I was getting that before I even put the card out. You are dealing with an Aries here that is trying to be back in the picture. They're trying to be back in the picture and you're like, no, I do not want you. I do not want to be with you. I don't, I don't like the kind of past that we had together. You were my spiritual drain, to be honest. This is your spiritual self. Or you are going on a new journey with this water sign, if you want to look at it that way. You're going on a new journey. You need to, you need to move. You need to move away from fire or move a fire or away from fire. It's a lot of you, so it can apply to anything. Your mentality has the sign of Pisces, uh, using your intuition uh, about a new relationship, about a new partnership. Go with your gut feeling with this uh, with this uh, moon-like energy here. Just go with your gut. Go with your gut, and let's see what happens here. What's changing for you has the sign of Capricorn, the devil. Uh, I get greatness with this Capricorn-like energy. You are becoming very, very great, and that's creating jealousy. Whatever it is, is creating jealousy because you are finally with your soulmate. Your soulmate may be helping you with business. People don't fire like energy, does not want to see that, whether they're Aries, Yo, Sag, et cetera, or they want to be involved with it and you want to keep them at bay because they're stopping you from making something real with this water-like energy here. Greatness in the sense that people may be thinking that you're finally with the devil. They may have actually called you the devil. Capricorn is the devil. You are not, you are not involved with the devil. You know, if people think that, uh, fuck them. You're not involved with the devil. You're not, and that's okay. And whether you they think that because of the kind of relationship you have, because of the kind of partnership that you're in, um, it looks devil. It may look like an addiction of some kind. It could be that somebody has a lot of partners. I'm not saying you do, but it kind of looks like you may be addicted. This could literally just be addicted to being with the right damn person that you choose to be with. In general, here, if it's business, people may be thinking that you did something, you know, mystically or magically to get what you wanted. And that's okay. It could be prayer. You know, if you're you don't have to be very religious to pray or just have faith and blessings and the kind of work that you do. It's not about jealousy. It's not about uh it could be that you're dealing with hateration and it's okay. You know what I mean? I get that this water like energy may, you know, they they may be a little envious, but they're not they're envious, they're not jealous of you though. They're not jealous of you. They may be a little envious of you, but they're not jealous of you. Jealousy is hardcore. Jealousy is literally coming from the fire sign energy here. Not the water sign. The water sign may be a little bit envious because they want they want to, you know, they want to be closer to you. It's like being attracted to something that is um is like people are very attracted to you. You know what I mean? Something that you're doing, people are very attracted to it. Water sign is attracted to the way you look, the way you smell, uh your mannerisms, the way you talk. Uh, what you're what you're saying <laughs> your resolution has um the empress uh you may be becoming a mother four swords in the future is kind of like um uh, i need a break so if you're dealing with an actual mother you may want to break from your mother you know what i mean if you are dealing with a mother that this like i said this aries like energy could be male or female that you're dealing with here they are a mother as well you want to break from them so that you can be free and go off on your own that Aries-like energy there. If you are dealing with an air sign, for some of you dealing with an air sign, um, you're becoming closer to a Libra-like energy. However, uh, be leery of them. Be careful with them. If you're dealing with a Libra, to be specific, be very careful with them, okay? The air sign energy, just be careful with them, all right? Be careful in general here. This is good. This is good energy. This whoever this water like this could be a female, whether you're a male or female, doesn't matter. It could be a bisexuality. I always go there too. They're fine. <laughs> Literally, like they're they're okay. You know, you may have been addicted to them before. Or a Capricorn. <laughs> you know, that's interesting. You're leaving the Aries energy alone. They've been draining you and they've been sucking you dry. Okay. All right, let's see. Capricorn, what's the outcome for you for this reading? Oh, three of swords. Three of swords. I'm going to do that one more time. I don't feel cool about that. Capricorn, summoning rising outcome for November 26th to December 7th, 2017. All right, so I'm going to shuffle seven times for you, okay? Okay. 
Seven of Swords. You are making plans in silent. Uh, it could be with an air sign because I did get Libra. Be careful if you're dealing with a Libra. Be leery of them. Um, I get that they know someone that you know, like mutual friends. Be leery of the Libra. Like if you're doing business with somebody, uh, you got a couple of people that you may be doing business with. Just be leery. Just be careful um, with them, okay? With whatever it is that they're doing or you're doing with them, all right? Good reading. I feel satisfied. I do these readings a thousand times before I decide to really put them out there. All right. So please like, subscribe, and share. My Instagram, um, I use more consistently than my other platforms. I do post on there um, when I am doing readings as well or when all my readings are complete and up. And um, thank you. I appreciate you uh, very, very much. Birthday coming up soon um, for Capricorns. December, what, 20, 22nd, 23rd? The 23rd is that's my sister's birthday, okay? All right, Capricorn, so be blessed. Take care, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.